Hey YouTube again. Yes, uh, this is going to be a continuation on uh, the video I did yesterday regarding Donald Sterling, um, the owner of the LA Clippers. Um, I was listening to more commentary regarding the audio tapes that were released and um, just had more, I just had more thoughts on it and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, um, I heard that um, Donald Trump uh, said some comments regarding the situation. He does admit that what, what the man in the video, I mean in the audio tape says is out of line, but that he refers to the woman in the tape that she was a, a girlfriend from hell. And I feel that that was so that I thought it was vilifying the woman. And I, I feel it was um, not really fair. Um, the conversation was provoked because he didn't like the, that the woman was in a photograph with black people. And I think that I, I think that she had a right to, or whoever who did it, felt that it was important that it be documented for protection and to protect the um, black people at large. That you have people who are socially constructing who could watch a ball game, who can sit in those seats in, at a ball game. And then you have people who are saying, you can't even sit in a seat. I think that's wicked. And I'm wondering whether or not, I, I, I think this is something larger. This is just the tip of the iceberg and something larger uh, to all this. That things are being socially constructed and that why we're, we're feeling, why some blacks and um so-called minorities are feeling the way they are or reacting because they sense that they're not being liked. Some, it might be subtle, but they are perceptive. we are perceptive people. And we know that certain areas may be off limits and it's not your imagination. You know, so whoever who's saying those things in the audio tape is, is a part of wickedness in this country. And could be socially constructing so many other aspects in this uh, American culture. And uh, again, this person in the audio tape is pointing fingers at Hispanics and Blacks, but not himself, you know? And that he is constructing this reality upon another group who is, you know. It, it's just not fair. And now the, the, the girl is being vilified. You can vilify her because she is a mistress. That I'm against. That she, you know, she, because the, the man is married to someone else and she's in a relationship with this guy and that's not the wife. That I would say you could, you know, you know, shame on them for that. But for someone to, document, hey, someone who is in high authority over um, certain 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 people in the public and then forbidding them and arranging it so that only certain races could be, you know, could be sitting in the seats to watch the game. I thought that was evil. Um, and it really should be investigated. And... Uh, the second aspect of this video is that re regarding women in general, um, we women shouldn't have to compromise. Um, feel like you have to, you know, dress all this and that way to to get men or get wealthy men. You know, but, you know, it, it it was said that his that there were other racial allegations against him in the past, and so you know. This woman is going out with him. Maybe again, maybe she didn't know about that past incident, 
but you know, we ladies, you know, don't compromise yourself. Don't get involved with these men to you know, because of what they could give you. You know, here this man is telling you, Hey, look pretty, have that nice suntan, but don't so associate with certain people, you know, and, and have it public. So this man really doesn't respect you. And even after hearing that you're a woman of black heritage, and for him to still deny you of being photographed in innocent pictures with black people, and, and, and unfortunate, this woman did pull the pictures. And I think that, I, I feel sorry that she felt that she had to obey him or else. Again, I think the videos, I mean, the, the tape was done because she knew her time was short and uh, she's protecting herself because she probably won't be believed. And um, so I, I just feel strongly, ladies, don't compromise yourself. Stay true and, you know, be, be selective who you go out with, you know, because you, your integrity and... Um, your, your heritage, who you are, you, you walk, you know, you walk in your own skin, in your own body. And if someone doesn't like you or say you can uh, associate with family members because we, we want only certain people to be in this neighborhood or to occupy these seats, this is a bad person. You know, you want, you want, when you wake up in the morning, you want to feel good about yourself. So stop compromising and just weed out these these losers. He might be wealthy, but he's still a loser if he thinks these this way. Okay? So that's all that I wanted to say. And uh, let me know what your comments are.